What is going on Java Minecraft players that want to play with shaders using Forge with Amethyst on their Android device? Today I'm going to show you how to do that. Before we jump in, make sure you watch my Forge setup guide that teaches you how to set up Forge and Forge mods before we jump into this. The reason why is because I'm going to do a continuation with this video using shaders with Forge with Optifine, which is something that we have to use to set up shaders. Now, for those that want to try to use Sodium, I'm gonna let you know right now, there will be a video coming out, and I'm gonna let you know, those that wanna use Sodium, which is Embedium for Forge, by the way, the developer team and everybody over at Amethyst is not going to help you whatsoever, okay? And don't even ask any information about Sodium for Amethyst or Pojav Launcher or anything like that in the Sodium Discord because they will also either ban you or stop helping you or not talk to you at all because they don't support these launchers because Sodium kind of... It runs okay on most Adreno GPU devices, so like Snapdragon devices, but it doesn't run well on a lot of devices that a lot of you guys probably have. So that's all I'm going to say about that. Now, with that out of the way, this is for Optifine. This is for shaders with Optifine, and we're going to be using our Horrorcraft folder that I created in my last video, which, again, if you didn't listen to that part one more time, I'm not going to help you if you say, oh, I don't have the horror craft folder or something like that I, i'm definitely not going to help you make sure you listen to the video i try to make these pretty self-explanatory okay now let's go back out let's go to the google chrome and we're going to type in the search bar optifine okay optifine is the basically back end for letting us change performances change shaders and all that fun stuff so click on the downloads button right here and scroll down click on show all versions keep going now i'm downloading it for 1.20.1 .1, so i'm going to click on the download for the latest version because that's what it is now don't get click happy here top right hand side of the screen you can see a little please wait for three seconds two seconds wait for that skip button to show up click on that now we should be seeing this click download right there and then we're going to go back, make sure you click the back button before it shows the ad, and go into Modrinth, okay? Now, Modrinth is very easy to understand. That's why I like to use Modrinth. Otherwise, I would use CurseForge. And in Modrinth, you're going to click on Discover Content. If you don't see that, then you can change over to Desktop Mode. So as you can see here, Desktop Mode might help you. But you can see the option for shaders, okay? Now, shaders are very device dependent. You're on a phone. Your phone is going to get hot as can be. I'm using an AYN Odin 2. It has an active cooling fan and it has also performance modes. As you can see right here, I'm in high performance mode most of the time. And I have my fan in smart mode, which turns on when the device starts getting hot. Your phone? Well, I'm going to tell you now that some shaders are not going to work at all. Some shaders are going to just be very demanding. And that's where I'm like, okay, well, make up ultra fast. It works okay, especially when you don't use shadows. So that's the one we're going to get. We're going to get the makeup ultra fast, and that's it, okay? Now, make sure you select Optifine, click download, and that's about it. That's all we really need. Now, the next thing we have to do is we're going to go back into Amethyst. We're going to close everything else out and click on Open Game Directory. Go to your three dots, go to your device name, go to your download folder, click on the Optifine jar. Long press on it, click on copy two on the three dots on the top right hand side go back to amethyst go into your horror craft look for your mods folder and paste it in there now we're going to click play we didn't put that shader in there you probably noticed that well that's because what we're going to do right now is create that shader folder with optifine inside the mods folder why are we doing it this way well it's just so that you don't name the pack or the folder the wrong thing like some people might name it shader underscore pack or shader pack without an s it's supposed to be shader pack so i'm gonna do this the good old-fashioned way which basically creates the folder for us now for a quick test click on the options button click on the video settings now if you see all these other video settings for quality performance other animations details shaders that means that we have the optifine installed properly i'm gonna turn on dynamic lights for a second now click on the shader pack section, okay? Now we can go to the shader pack folder by clicking on shader packs, and there we go, we have the shader pack folder right there, right? 
So shader packs, perfect. Now we can go back to our three lines, go to our device name. Now we can go to downloads and then we can grab that makeup ultra fast zip file by long pressing on it, click copy to three lines, amethyst. Go to your folder that we created in our forge video, go to your shader packs folder and paste it in there. Now go back and there we go. There's that shader pack right there. Now click on it. Okay, and very important is that you click on it or you use your mouse and keyboard or your joystick and take note of these settings right here. Now the render quality does help with the shader pack performance, okay? So if you have a very low end device, you can change this. And I like to even change this on my Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 to 75%. Shadow quality, I'll just leave at 1X. Now it's all up to you and the aliasing, you can change this as well. Now this does not really, you know, help with performance because as you can see here, it tells you, hey, this is slower and that's because it's trying to render more, okay? Now we have our shader pack options. As long as you're highlighted over top of the shader pack, you can click on that and then you can change different options in here. Now there's different profiles that you can select right here. No effects, shadowless low, shadowless medium, shadowless high, low, which has shadows, medium, high, high DOF. So basically high as best can be. But I highly recommend you just to start with like the lowest setting for shadowless low, for example, and click done, click done again. Now, a very important tip as well is that you're going to notice that you're going to need to lower your render distance just a bit. This device, seven to eight chunks it can get away with, but I like to keep it just at seven and your smooth lighting levels. You can change all this stuff as well. So change your smooth lighting levels to 50%. And when you highlight over things, it'll tell you kind of what kind of performance boost you can get. I also like to go into other settings, turn off the GL errors because I don't like to see that. You can also look at your FPS if you want to inside the other settings. Now, this is like a performance helper as well. So you can change things like your particles, turn that off, your details, um, your biome blend. I'm gonna turn that down to three by three. My entity distance, the uh, further away your entities are, the faster your rendering can happen for the actual entities. You can change your trees and all that kind of stuff. There's a whole bunch of stuff you can do with Optifine. Click done, go to single player, and then basically continue playing the world you're playing in if you want to with the shader that we just downloaded and installed using Optifine with Forge in Amethyst. And here we go. Now I am using my screen recording app right now, but I'm still getting 60 FPS and yeah, it's 75% resolution. But if you want to tell your friends that, hey, I have shaders on my Android, at okay now i'm getting 120 fps <laughs> then you can go ahead and do so now again shadowless low is going to be your probably your best option for the most part unless you have an android gaming handheld like i do and at 75 percent resolution i think this looks okay now some people might beg to differ but honestly that's up to you and what you want to do with your device and what kind of device you have have some fun enjoy shaders as you can see here i'm enjoying them and i think they look great especially on an android device and if you really wanted to crank up the shaders and get better performance go buy a pc otherwise enjoy amethyst on your android phone or your android gaming handheld to play java minecraft with shaders using optifine